How to prevent present fatigue this Christmas? Will gift overload strike your household this Christmas? Money Saver Kachi's Advice to Prepare Now for Christmas Costs Pressure to provide plenty of presents appears to be increasing, assisted by cashed-up grandparents who are wealthier and living longer than ever before. Apart from the financial struggle of trying to afford them, too many gifts can result in children's excitement wearing off, says Catapult Wealth Financial Planner John Lawler. Like anything, if you repeat a behavior, at some point it becomes mundane, he says. Lawler says people buying multiple gifts for multiple children including siblings, nieces and nephews can find the cost multiplies fast. Just saying this is only $15, this is only $20 can add up quickly, he says. Be careful of the expectation you set, and don't be afraid, if you can't afford it, to pull the strings back a bit. Lawler has noticed that overly generous grandparents also are multiplying the present pile, while toys today are cheaper. I don't think toys are any more expensive than they were 30 years ago. Incomes are higher, so you can buy more toys for the same amount of money. My budget director Tammy Barton says she has noticed that a lot of children are receiving more expensive Christmas presents such as iPads and laptops. If kids do want expensive presents, it's reasonable to ask them to contribute towards the cost by, for example, saving some of their pocket money, she says. Sharing the cost of an expensive present may also help the child to realize its value and take proper care of it. Barton says parents should help their children understand that they try to spend the same amount on each child, despite how many presents are under the Christmas tree. Budgeting can be difficult, especially when children expect that latest expensive gadget can simply be made in Santa's workshop, she says. It's a good idea to speak to kids about what they'd like for Christmas because it gives you a chance to manage their expectations. Grandparents can be the worst culprits for spoiling children at Christmas, Barton says, but may also be least able to afford it. One year, my son and daughter asked for MP3 players from their granddad, so you can imagine their faces when on Christmas Day they each unwrapped a brand new iPhone. Apparently the salesperson had done a great job of upselling, she says. We explained to the kids that the iPhones needed to be returned. They understood and were equally delighted by MP3 players that cost a fraction of the price. Oh, 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 oh,